song called this one, Self Mastery. Astrology. And it's Mercury Retrograde. What's up, family? This is the one that just got finished. And big shouts out to Leos and Virgos. Probably Aquarius is in Pisces, too. But this is who I'm about to talk to. What up, what up? What up, Nicole? What up, Divine? Please share this video with a couple folks for me. Let's talk about it. I'm going to invite a couple of my peoples, too. Real quizzic. How y'all doing today? I got a new contraption that holds my stuff. Right. Feel like I'm fancy right now. How was your Mercury retrograde? Let me just see what kind of, um... How was y'all, what, what, what was your, what was your feelings out here? What kind of questions? It's over now. It just came, it's got over on the second. A lot of people thought it was over some other time, but it wasn't. <laughs> Om Ganapatiye. You can hear that? What are y'all up in our business, ain't they? Yeah. Me and Wizzy sitting there chilling, Team Libra in the building, representing Gun Rule. She represents Atlanta right now. But uh, if you don't know what gun rule is, that's Grand Rapids. So you're going to need some paper. And um, I ain't doing video. I definitely am not doing these just so y'all can sit here and watch me. So go get you some paper and a pen. We're going to talk about... Did you see my post I did earlier today? Oh, you ain't following me on Instagram? My own roommate is not following me on Instagram. My, my, my. Oh, but she, she watches. She's seeing everybody else she ain't seeing. You know what I mean? All right. So today I, I, I was talking about, um, I seen Jada Pinkett. And I don't really, you know, she cool, but she out here talking about self-mastery. And I was like, I, I, was, talking, I was talking to Tamara Garcia the other day with her fine self. And like how people, how you going to say, let's do some self-mastery and you don't know yourself? I already said that. What you mean? I had a post. I said the same thing. You did not say that. I just said that. I ain't see that on your Instagram. Right. Anyway, but we both could have said it because we're in my second house. So please draw your little chart out and put the M in the middle for me, right? And let's number it out. And... When in Egypt, everybody's always talking about Kemet. Kemet. It's an unk everywhere. Just draw my little unk. Little unks. Gotta have my unk. If, I'm a, if I got my unk here, then I must be, I must be popping. It's ancient Egypt. But what did it say across the doorway when you came into the temple? Know thyself, right? Oops. Doing too much. Know thyself. Now, if this was on the doorway, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got, you got the house or the pyramid you're supposed to be coming in. I get that he wasn't using houses. You was coming in here, right? So you was coming in the pyramid. And there was a door right here. Well, this sign, the sign was right there. Right above the doorway, it said, know thyself, right? Now, when you get know thyself, when they went inside this pyramid, what happened? They looked up, and on the roof, they had a zodiac sign, Dendora's calendar. P. 
exterior. So you couldn't even see this because this wasn't drawn on the outside of the pyramids. This was drawn on the inside, on the roof, right? So coming in, the roof was not thyself. But this is the part everybody get jammed up with. This is what kills me right here, Wiz. To thyself be true. Now, how you gonna get some self mastery popping if you ain't even keeping it 100 with yourself? So, I said, why, why, why would you encourage somebody to practice self mastery? They don't know themselves, and they're not even being true. To how could I be true to myself if I don't know myself? Then you want me to practice self mastery? You got to have order about these things, right? So this Mercury retrograde that just got finished playing out, you Leos and Virgos, I think we call it the worst. I'm a Virgo rising, so I can talk like this. What's your rising? Ain't you a Virgo rising? So if you are a Virgo rising... That means that Leo rules the 12th house. And what are some of the keywords for Leo? The two we should be thinking about here, because if, if, if Mercury retrograde is always bringing up something, then it's going to be bringing it up in this, this energy. Mercury was just chilling. This was Mercury. Let me show y'all what a retrograde looks like. It came down. It backed up. And then it turned around again. And it still hasn't even left. Came in. Doo -doo -doo -doo, turn around. Now it's leaving. One, two, three. That's how the retrograde was, right? So it's wiping back and forth all over this Leo stuff. But guess what? Leo's rule what? Pride and ego. Right. Uh-oh. I see my I see some of my students is in here. Y'all ain't gonna take over the class, is you? I see you over there. <laughs> right. So if Mercury is saying I'm gonna come over here and unearth some stuff. And it's in the 12th house of Virgo. If you're a Virgo or Virgo rising, the 12th house is also what? What's the key word for the 12th house? 12th house is your downfall. Or some of us call it your undoing. What you say? I said undoing. The undoing. So that means your ego and pride could be your downfall or your undoing. If you got a lot of stuff in Leo, and I know some people got six planets in Leo, God bless them, you know what I'm saying? Ain't come to find out, they're a Virgo rising, which that got to be tough right there. They, didn't need, a, they, didn't, they need coffee, they need everything. You a Virgo rising, and you a Leo? Chamomile. <laughs> chamomile, oh, there we go. Bust out the chamomile. They don't need coffee, they need some damn, need some damn chamomile, my bag. <laughs> Right, because they, they think the whole world is against them. And at the same time, uh, over here, Capricorn, Saturn was going retrograde. At the same time, over here in the fifth house. Ain't nobody got time for that. And Mars was up in there too. And he's still going retrograde. He, 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 all, all both of these jokers is going retrograde in cap at the same time. And then over here in Scorpio, big boy Jupiter. He was, he was retrograde. There was too much going on around here. I'm not even gonna put. Well, might as well forget. Hey, why not? Uh. And then Uranus decides to go into Taurus, and then his ass wanted to go retrograde, and, and then he wanted to uh, go the other way too. 
So all this is going on at the same time. This is what, and so this is the best time to practice some self mastery because you're gonna have to get some control over all these aspects happening at the same time. But remember, in the center of the circle, what is it? What 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 is the center of the circle? Me. So, sure, we got all these different, you know what I'm saying, variables going on, but you at the middle of the chart, and you're responsible. But guess what? That's why I go ahead and got to get biblical on jokers. Proverbs 3.5, that's my favorite. Who knows what that is? Proverbs 3.5. Lean not. On your own, understand. Oh, somebody want to be on the video? Come through. If you want to come on the video, then come through. So, Proverbs 3 5 is lean not on your own understanding. Slide that up some. Hello, who's that? I can't see you. I see your forehead, I see your shoulder. Okay. If somebody wants to join, you know, you can join. But thank you so much for uh, whoever that was. Proverbs 3, 5 said, lean not on your own understanding. You know, I only had like three people come and check in to find out what was going on. And they was out here trying to figure the thing out by themselves. That's a lot of risk. Trying to figure everything out by yourself. That tough. That's tough right there. So, but you know why? You know why people weren't getting readings? Because of their pride and ego. They thought they could just push through. They thought they could just snap on folks. Did you see that uh, the post with the man on, on, on my page? Well, can you go on there and look at it right fast? Good gracious. You see a crow? Absolutely. I, I, I know you do. And what did the man say? The man, not, not what I wrote, just a picture. Right beside a red sign at the top. On my back, yeah, right there. Keep going. Yes. He said, let's see it. Did y'all see that? He said, when nails grow long, we cut nails, not fingers. Similarly, when a misunderstanding grows up, cut the ego, not your relationship. You jokers, a, a, a whole lot of foolery was going on because we didn't want to cut the ego, trim the fingernails. Jokers want to just cut the whole, cut the whole hand off. Um, All the great kings had astrologers. Mansa Musa was lacing his bab, was lacing his folks, but people in the pride and the ego, and then September gets here, and guess what? The retrograde is over. Even though people were celebrating too early. It's going direct now, and they done forgot all about there's six weeks that was going on before that. <laughs> and all the lessons they learned, they just they just got clueless. Huh? What happened? Because nobody, nobody came and made a point to you that the retrograde was the time for the self-mastery because it had the reflections in it. That's what you use astrology for. To reflect. Not just remove everything. You can't just. I was talking to somebody yesterday. They think they just want to stay up on the rock and just work with God. You can't just work with God. You can't do that. That's that's a high risk. That's a high risk situation, and it's just gonna be you and God. Forget about it. You don't gotta be clueless in astrology because it's it's really easy once you laying out the formats. You know what I'm saying? And so we could come back and do the houses. Who else? On a scale of 1 to 10, everybody's watching. 
what is your uh, what is your level of astrology knowledge? So zero, you don't know nothing, and ten, you like a super saying power. Everybody who's watching right now, can you please put the number in where you are at? You know what I'm saying with your astrology knowledge. Me, I think I'm like at a nice firm eight and a half. But I can be at a 10 sometimes because I know I got to keep learning, right? I got my basics down. So, but you Leos and Virgos, if you're a Virgo or Virgo rising, it had to be painful. If you was a, if you were a Leo, though, it was all up in your face and then depending on what house it was happening in. So, like, if you, oh, man, I don't know if any of y'all know y'all rising sign. I see some fives up here, some twos. Right. I'm just here to let you know that to thine self be true, know thyself, to thine self be true is the key to self mastery. So when people telling you they're using the word self mastery and they ain't using the word astrology, how can I? How could you know? How could you know uh, more about yourself and you don't even know what your planets consist of? Let's go to the basics. Let's 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 cover some basics right quick. Cool. I have this on YouTube, and I normally be like, "Oh, just go." Everybody's already watched the video. However, that's not true. So this is how you draw your chart, right? How many of y'all drew the chart? Press one if you drew the chart. Press zero if you didn't draw the chart. Right. Just watching me, you got time to get a pen and a piece of paper. This is an educational channel. <laughs> I see some ones. This 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 the basics. This is your where I say chart equals university. University or college. I do have a class, Keep It Simple Astrology course. Keep it simple astro keep it simple astrology course dot info. Can somebody please type that? Of course I can interpret the chart that you have. Absolutely. That's easy. Um, this is the chart. Inside the chart are these numbers right here are the houses. So houses equal classrooms. So the chart is a university. You can't have a university without having classrooms. And then you're going to put some planets in here. That's what the sun looks like. There's the moon. Good old Mercury. There's Mars. Got to have Saturn somewhere. We'll put Jupiter in the first. Uh... Let me drop Venus over here somewhere. Who do I, who's, 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 who's missing? Neptune. Pluto. Oh my goodness. North Node, which astrologers don't ever talk about. North Node and South Node. Uranus. I think that's everybody, ain't it? Yeah. There's Chiron. There's a Lilith. There's some other stuff going on, but these are like the main planets. Most people are always focused. Um everything is at everything is over at um Coach K Astrology. Coach K Astrology dot info. Can somebody type there, please? Coach K Astrology. And I don't just um 
I don't just uh, translate. We go over the strategy. Wizzy Wiz does too. Also, a house full of witchcraft going on over here. Thank you very much, my brother. Can I get that pen? So, um, most people always focus on just the sun and they say, I am a Leo, I am a Capricorn, I am this, I am that. But if you don't know where these other factors are, that's just like dating someone and them saying, uh, the other person said, I'm attracted to your middle finger. That's as far as I can get the relationship. Wiz, oh, I just love your wrist. Oh, your wrist. Oh, oh, I love your wrist. Then she gonna ask me about some money sooner or later. Go ahead and say something about some money. What about, what, what about the money? Yes, what about the money? Your wrist is so beautiful. <laughs> now look, I can't even see her nails. Then all of a sudden she's a woman, so she and she's a Libra, so she gonna throw them up. She gonna say, "What about my nails?" I'm gonna be like, "Your wrists are just so beautiful. Oh my god, oh my god. We gonna have a whole relationship with your wrist." She said, "I got another hand over here." I'm gonna be like, "Nah, I'm good." Oh, your wrist. Oh, your. I love your wrist. Then she gonna say something about something. What else you gonna ask me about? Oh, your goals. my goals. What about something to eat first before we get that? We get that you, you, you're going deep. I'm be like, oh, I love your wrist. Oh, your wrist. But the goals may be up here in this finger. Or uh, what we're going to eat may be over here. Or uh, 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 the magic is over here. Or the spirituality could be over here. Or her elbow way up there. But no, I just be in the wrist. What about the wrist? Thank you for your example. Thank you so much. That's how people be, man. They ain't leaving out all this other stuff. Somebody was looking at me the other day talking about, I don't like, uh, they might have been talking about you Libras. I don't like Libras. I was like, well, nigga, where your Venus, where's your Venus at? Where your Venus at? What you talking about? You know, my moon's in, my moon's in Libra, but I don't like them. And then my rising sign is Virgo and I'm a Taurus. That's all you know? And then they take it too far. They just take it too far. Can you tell me my sun rising, moon rising stuff? I need to know what I fully... See, look, somebody just typed that. So magic. Babe, that's the, that's the basics. That's the basics. That's the basics. Okay. If I did that, so all of this is you, let me tell you what, when somebody asked me that, their sun rising, moon rising stuff. Watch this. So that means don't tell you about Pluto. I'm sorry, erasing parts of your character. Oh, my fault. The planets equal professors. So all of these are here to teach you lessons. All of these planets are professors, but you only want to know your sun sign. So I'm going to take the professor of spirituality away. I'm going to take this uh, professor of abundance away in, in philosophy. I'm going to take the uh, professor of thinking and wisdom and how to talk to people away. I'm going to take your personal past away and your uh, karmic past. I'm going to take your spiritual destiny out of the picture. And then I'm going to take how you get things done. You know, and any type of thing, any warnings you may need for anger management. I'm going to take away your relationship language. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not, I'm going to erase all the challenges that, you know, it, I used to know before I erased it. And then I'm going to um, also like erase what you know and like a lot of your potential. And I'm also going to erase your childhood wounds. Okay. And then that's all they want, Wiz. They just want that right there. Sun, moon, moon, and rising. And then I'm going to say, this is your rising sign right here. So this is the I am principle. That's the I am, and your rising sign is whatever this is. So I'm going to say, yes, your sun is Taurus, your moon is Cancer, and then your rising sign, um, and, and, and then your rising is Virgo. Are you happy now? Who would be happy with this? Who would be happy with this? Somebody come on here. Like, I want somebody to come on who's never had a reading. I just want to know. The midnight is kicking. Yeah, that was midnight. Who oh, wants just that part of the reading? <laughs> I want somebody to come on and have a conversation. 
Jay Z Diamonds, get your butt on here. We was talking the other day. Right. Somebody just, you know, I only want to know my moon, my. And so then I'd be like, oh, but a cat like me, I'm going to come in. That ain't enough information for me, player. And they be asking me why I'm still single or why I'm not in a relationship because I want to know where your Venus is at and what your Venus do. I really want to know what your thoughts are. Dr. Gibson said the first thing he looked for was Mercury in the chart. What Mercury had in the chart? Why? Because I want to know your mental state. Press two if you've ever been dealing with somebody who was crazy or you thought was crazy. Like you met them. How many of y'all are saying, I met somebody and I met their representative? Uh, come on. Press press one if you've met somebody and you they, it was their representative, but later, but later they went crazy. Oh, twos or whatever I told you to press. Just press it. I want to know. I'm, this is me first. She got a big butt. She talking about she like giving head. She talking about she like girls and she like me and men with dreadlocks. I'm going right here first. I don't want her phone number. I'm going right here. He telling you he going to put a ring on it. He ain't got no kids. He faithful. He want to go and have a long future with you. You better look right here first. Off the muscle. You, but guess what? All you care about where his moon was at. The moon is important. That's how he treat his mama. Okay? But then you don't even know what sign it's in. Let's, oh, let me, can I do the sign? Let's just say... Let's say, let's say, let's say, the, then you got to do the, you know, that's Cap, uh, Sag, Scorpio, Libra, um, I fall Virgo, Leo, Cancer, get out of here, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, or this person of Pisces rising with Venus and Pisces. We is what we know about that. Hey, she, 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 she is on him. Just got Venus and Pisces. Oh shit, I don't know. He on there? Huh? He on there? No, my my people's Chi. She got she oh. she she knows somebody. I don't want to say who, but she knows somebody. You know what I'm saying? Closely, who got Venus and Pisces? Oh, right. Oh, I didn't know that. No. So, and then um. What's this Aquarius over here? So then, so we know the houses, the chart is the university, the houses are the classroom, the planets are the professors, but the signs, equal curriculum. Signs equal curriculum. And see, this be my beef with other astrologers. Why won't y'all come on Instagram and damn this teacher old basic ass class? Once you get this down, self mastery is popping. That's why you need astrology so you can reflect. So you won't do that craziness again. And then right in the middle is me. So make sure you put M E in the middle of your circle. I got Venus and Pisces. Oh Lord. Sage sisterhood. Anybody want to come on here live right fast, or y'all just or y'all right here playing? I, I I need a I need an example to come on here. Somebody who don't pull the chart, not you, uh, uh, Daniel, because you cheating. Cultivating spirit. What up, player? So I want to know. I, that's not enough information for me to make no decision on what we gonna do. Where the money at? Then I need to know what your challenges are. Where that Saturn be? Then, do you fight a lot? What your Mars talking about? Because if your Mars is over here with your moon, you got some old flying off the chain um, impulses. But then, what if your what if your Mars is over here with Mercury? You're argumentative as hell. But then, ooh 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 ooh, I want to know where that Neptune is at. So what if I take Neptune and put it in the fifth house? Hmm. And I and I put Jupiter right here. Now this right here is a freak. This one let y'all know. No, no, no. Oh, well, I got some another example. So we know the fifth house is casual sex. Even though 
oh, this is cancer. So this person got Jupiter, which is exalted in cancer, and Neptune in spirituality. So they could lie about how big of a freak they are. Because the fifth house is casual sex. Neptune is porn pornography, but it's also high spiritual advancement. And then Jupiter is, I will expand everything. And Jupiter does its best work in cancer. I just, yeah, just want to nurture, nurture, nurture. This is a sex worker right here all day who may lie about it. Because Neptune ain't going to really tell you like that. But they'll turn your ass out, though. They don't believe in, in trains or nothing like that. That's just, they just, that's just their appetite. They just needed, you know, two or three people or two or three women or whatever. And I might need to know this. And then what if you're monogamous and the other person talking about, I'm not monogamous? Or why is the person cheating? Huh? Oh, oh my goodness, wait. What if I take Venus... Move Jupiter out of the way, which I could have left over there. What if I, what if I drop Venus over here with Neptune, and then put Jupiter here? I'm not messing with you at all, cause you're a lying freak. You lie about everything. I can't mess with you. I can't, and, and you're disillusioned about the whole thing. What up, Team Leo, Mississippi Gulf Coast? Oh yeah, that's how we do it, right? I'm Coach Kai here, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Sitting over here with Wizzy Wiz. Uh, she's Team Libra, representing ATL and Gun Rule. But you need to be putting, you need to be, yeah, please say, uh, if you're just getting here, please rep wherever you rocking at. This is the keys to self mastery, knowing what your chart looks like. What are these bodies? What are these professors teaching? Why do all these professors show up in the fifth house? Why don't you put some over here? God forbid you bring the moon over here. Wait, you know, there's the sun. But then what if I what if I put Pluto in there with the sun? What up, Jersey? I see Atlanta in the building. CLT? Oh, you fly a lot. That must be Charlotte. I just want you to start asking other astrologers to come give you some fire. Can you somebody give you some basics? When you leave my, when you leave a reading with me, your page looks something like this. It's what you look like. Like, I mean, it probably will be some notes up here, but this is what you gonna know. Six house is the house of service and work. You gonna know the seventh house. Running out of colors, right? You gonna know that the this is the relationship house. This is how we relate. This is how we work. This is where we keep secrets. I met um. Oh, my people's there, Miss Daisy's from the other day. Over there with Tamara. Where you at? Raise your hand again. What's her name? Hey, Tony Poodle. She said she was a Virgo rising, right? Then she said, I was born with my umbilical cord around my neck. I said, nah, you a Scorpio rising. Because that's a problem with the air. The air was blocked. So your first injury coming in, they had you, you in danger of suffocating. So that's a lung issue. So you just ask anybody talking about they have an umbilical cord around their throat when they was born. That's a, that's a Scorpio rising. You can't you can't get nothing earlier than that. So then immediately I already knew with Scorpio on the ascendant, she holds grudges. She been reading her chart thinking she got Virgo on the ascendant. You 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 got to get and then you have to be able to know how to spin this bad boy. How to spin it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go over the first. All oh, this got to go. We got to go over the big lesson today. Ooh, math, 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 math. We'll leave that arc up there for some of y'all. Maybe some hoteppers watching my channel trying to take it back. Can't leave it up too long. I know y'all screenshotted it. Oh, say, sister, you getting that from me? Well, thank you very much. Sag rising, huh? How you know you're a Sag rising? Did somebody tell you? I always I had to do it. Sag Aquarius. Do you have a problem? Are you had some problem with your feet when you was growing up? For you who said you're a Sag rising? Afro film chick, what up? Thanks for joining. Oh, you have some problem with your feet? Okay. We'll let that ride as a Sag rising then. 85% of the, write this down, yeah, 85% of, hmm, 
Birth certificate times are wrong. There you go. How about that? There goes astrology lesson for you right here today. One astrology one on one. Let's put this down as the number one joint. Eighty five percent of a birth chart times are wrong. Say it again, trying to put all her uh, information up here. She want me to pull the charge. She just like, 3.03 a.m. <laughs> 85% of birth certificate times are wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Divine Siren Goddess, you, you, you a sad rising too? You had a problem with your feet before the age of 12? You got some scars on your, on your feet? What up, Lotus Fire Oracles? Ask everybody if you shared this video. 85% of birth certificate times are wrong. That's why I'm asking you. Uh, when's your birthday? What time were you born? And where do you stay? I got to start the chart off with that.